Alright, well we're about to head off. We just stopped in after coming out of Gawler Ranges. That's the air highway right there. We had some lunch quickly, aired up our tyres again and now we're gonna shoot off. It's pretty warm today, feels like it's much warmer than 31. But it looks like we might be camping here tonight. We're about half an hour out of Seduna, or before Seduna, so we didn't quite make the Nullapore side of Seduna just yet. Just because we've been looking around and finding stuff. We just found a nice camp spot here by the water. We're just trying to assess whether it's safe to camp here with children. It is, it is designated camping by South Australia Parks, and there is a fee per vehicle something like $14 a night, but that's okay, we don't mind that. We've lost mum. Have we? Yeah, I can't find it. Good. What? No, don't know. She's vanished. This is actually a sand sand track. Like, look at the articulation. Hold this. I don't think we should go in there. Not, not when, not when it's the morning, not when it's the evening of the day. If it was the morning of the day. Alright. Alright, let's do it. Well, and now, after a day at Gawler Rangers, we're now down the south coast of South Australia for the night. Just for the one night. A bit windy out here. It's nice in the tea van. But kids setting up their bed. They finally got their pattern together. Cat and Wallace set up down there. The sun's going down. It's a bit iffy camping here because Rayleigh might do a runner. The beach is down there whilst the cliff edge for this is like right here. And there's a very slippery rocks here so I don't want to go too close to the edge. Hard, hard work's been, isn't it? Yeah. This is, is going to be a first in a lifetime. Yeah, you get that. <laughs> and they set up before us too. <sighs> what a nice day. So this Rayobi vacuum, my wife got me for my birthday, is the most handiest thing ever. Runs on one 18 volt, one plus battery lasts ages for, for one battery for a four amp hour five amp hour we've been camping in the sand for the last um 18 hours and this was putrid this is full of sand this vacuum just a quick turn it on and it just spotless we've had to we've had to travel pretty heavy this trip i mean because we've got Christmas gifts. This is our dirty laundry bag. But even once we're stopped, once we've gotten this very empty, that's what it looks like in there. So it's quite a bit of, we do utilize quite a bit of um, space this trip. Almost ready to go. Jingle! Go do the daily oil check. It's not really daily. I check it once every two days, to be honest with you. I know everyone says you should check it daily, but once every two days unless the, both days are really long days or I have a reason I want to check it because I think something's going on but otherwise if it's just general checking all right well we're ready to get out of here in a second Christmas Eve Merry Christmas everyone we're on our way uh, we're a little bit behind today we should have been um, at Nullable Roadhouse last night but that didn't happen because we had to well we had to look around yesterday and we, we spent a lot more time looking at things than we did traveling I think we covered like a total of 300 k's, but about 150 of that was in a circle. <laughs> so uh, we only, we end up camping up down here um, at Whittleby Point, which is about 10, 15 k's 
uh, east of Seduna. So we're now heading into Seduna. We're going to fuel up, top up, give the van a bit of a wash because it's very, it's got a lot of red dust on it from where we went yesterday. Uh, and then we're going to head out, head out to Eucla. So we're hoping to do the, the full um, 500 kilometre stretch. I think you can go this way. I'm not sure where I'm going. Pretty yet. sure you can go this way. Okay. Um, yeah, it's, it's like a maze out here at Whittleby. There's like all these roads. That there's no there's no signs either. So if you're looking for camping out here, you're kind of guessing um, until you see the signpost. But anyway, guys, I'll uh, I'll see you guys in the next update when we're somewhere along the road. Yesterday, but we didn't, so we're here at lunchtime. And we might pretty much the last fuel stop before here because this is about two dollars eighty or two dollars ninety a litre. It was about 150 kilometers that way. And the next place where we can get reasonable fuel for less than two dollars is not now until we get to northern and western Australia, which won't be till about Wednesday. Thank you for Uh, we just got, we, yeah, we just got to Euclid Caravan Park, so we're just gonna move our cars around. Pretty straightforward, $30 a night per car. Doesn't matter how many guests, which is nice. Normally it's like per person, they count adults and children, they get paying $100 a night. Um, Alright, we're gonna go around. Apparently they got some issues with powered sites. Some are working, some aren't, so we're gonna go play testy testy. Wall's uh, investigating his trailer. He's got some unusual noises. The girls are deliberating on how they're gonna set up. I'm just keen to get everything set up. We'll be here for two nights. It's not going to be warm here. It's going to be dry, but it's going to be like 19 and 24 or something or 23. So, but, but the sun's out and it's not, it's not going to be super hot, so it's good. The run over wasn't bad. Um, <laughs> very challenging to get some of the drone shots that we got though, but they look good for some future edits I want to do in other videos. And we did... Um, Plenty of photos of the kids and stuff like that. It's been pretty much yesterday was so slow moving, like we spent most of the day in this adventuring rather than traveling, so we ran out of time to make it to Nullarbor. So today was a big stretch day, we had to make up for that extra um, couple hundred kilometers we didn't cover yesterday. But oh well, we're here now and we're exit, we're back on schedule, so it's good. And at least we're greeted with just at least the dry weather, it's the most important thing, and sun. So guys, this is this is for Christmas lunch tomorrow, is it? Yep. Christmas lunch, I've got everything. Check this out. You have to freeze the potatoes. The, so potatoes have to be hard frozen to come out of WA border. Which is just like 10 minutes that way. Yep. So this is, they've been frozen only to be unfrozen basically. Yep, but I've got everything else in here. So I've got corns. Now they just have to have the husk peeled off, which I've already done, as you can see. They didn't need to be frozen at all actually. No. Well, the potatoes did. No, no, no. The potatoes, That's no, the corn. Some pumpkin. The no, these are frozen. These are just. Yeah, so the pumpkin also did. And some carrots. Pre prepared carrots. everything. Yeah. Carrots and did not need to be peeled at all. No, they peeled them anyway. Uh, and yeah. the onions, which I had to peel. Which are they also apparently frozen. They were supposed to be frozen. <laughs> What's this? What, this no, is no, tomorrow. Onions have to be peeled. What's this actually for? This is for roast lunch. This tomorrow. Roast. For Christmas. Yeah. I'm just telling you to tell the viewers. Yeah, so yeah, sorry. Roast lunch for dinner tomorrow. Uh, 
for lunch tomorrow, roast lunch. So I've got um, roast lamb, I've got some marinade up there, which I'm going to soak it in. Um, and then Sigil in, and they have a camp kitchen, which I'm going to go look at in a minute. Hopefully they have an oven there, I can just bung it all in and it'll be good. If not, we'll just have to... Um, you might want to connect with. the fridge. Probably should be this. <laughs> Everything in here is pretty much good. My, my phone, Christmas morning, says it's 4.55 a.m. But it looks like it could be broad daylight. WA is a weird place. Well guys, a bit of a wrap up um, today. Good Christmas day. We uh, did our presents this morning and um, had, had a roast lunch. Then we went for a drive down to, down over there, over by the beach, Eucla. Took some drone shots, kids had a bit of a play in the water, and we just had a look around at some of the um, historical um, landmarks around here. Nothing nothing too crazy, I won't kind of put it all in the video today, but a little bit crazy. Well, I've actually never been behind here, I've always been on this highway through there in the truck, we used to do freight through here. So it's the first time I've ever really been able to come and see what's actually behind. Um, Eucla on the main highway so definitely swing by here if you're gonna be passing by even just to drive in um, we weren't expecting to hit any four wheel drive tracks but um, <laughs> we're just driving around and all of a sudden you know we we're on highway pressures and going through the um, going through the sand dunes and stuff like that the small dunes but look we made it over to the beach all right so that was pretty good and just head down there and then came back um, a little bit later but yeah guys Thank you for watching. Um, it's not the end of the Christmas series. We're, we're now going to pack up tomorrow and head up to Norseman uh, so we can have another overnight before going into Cape Arid for New Year's. So stay tuned for that. Uh, probably a bit of sand driving coming up. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned.